Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Bunnies don't play eggs! An Easter bunny tale and family tradition. Retold by Melanie Salas. Illustrations by Indra Andika. Everyone knows that bunnies don't lay eggs. So, have you ever wondered why a bunny delivers eggs at Easter? This is the special tale of why a fluffy white bunny delivers magnificent colorful eggs on Easter to all the boys and girls of the world. Long, long ago and far, far away, in the kingdom of Faraday, it was the king's birthday. The castle was decorated with large bouquets of balloons strung with colorful streamers and filled with the most amazing birthday cookies, cakes, and pies. Get me my favorite magicians! I would love to see their tricks! The king said with a large smile on his face. The king loved magicians and many of them came to the palace court. They made birds appear pulled flowers from sleeves and shiny gold coins from ears. The most powerful magician in the kingdom came with the most beautiful gift. My king, a hen that lays beautiful eggs. He cried. The hen laid magnificent eggs of all different colors of the rainbow. The king was impressed. However, he was greedy and wanted the very best. Make the hen lay eggs of gold, he commanded his magician. So, with a wave of his magic wand and a wink of his eye, the king's wish was granted. Look! Everyone gasped. The hen is laying golden eggs. The king was very pleased with the magician and he made him an honorable member of the kingdom. He kept the special hen in a golden cage close to his throne. The hen made the king very rich and popular throughout the whole country because of the golden eggs it laid. Word spread about the king's magical hen that laid golden eggs. Soon. Everyone from everywhere wanted to see it. Some even wanted to steal the hen. To keep his treasure safe, the king gave an order. My magic hen should be hidden whenever we have guests, he told his magician. Put a normal hen in the cage to trick visitors, so the magic hen will be safe. The magician nodded and obeyed. One sunny day, a thief sneaked into the palace. He ran straight up to the throne, grabbed the cold cage and escaped. Thief! Thief! Everyone in the palace yelled. The guards tried to catch him, but they couldn't. The thief was just too fast. Now, the king was very happy that he had told his magician to hide the real magic hen. He called his messenger and gave an order. Go to my magician and ask him to give you my magic hen. Then bring it back to me safely. The messenger set off as quickly as he could. The magician wasn't at home, so he just took the cage. He didn't lift the cover cloth to check what was inside. When he returned to the palace, the king ran to the cage to see his precious hen. Oh! He cried in surprise. Instead of a hen, there was a fluffy white bunny in the golden cage. Where is my hen? The king asked. He became very angry. Release 
this bunny into the forest and find my magician. I want my magic hen, not a white bunny. The guards searched the whole kingdom for the magician. When they found him, they brought him to the king. Where is my hen? He asked angrily. Trembling, the magician replied, I turned it into a bunny to keep it safe so no one could steal it from my home whenever I travel. What? The king asked in a sad voice. Why didn't you tell me? You should have waited for me before taking the rabbit to the forest. That was your magic hen. The magician replied. The king commanded all his guards to search all the forest in his kingdom. The guards searched and searched for the rabbit for many weeks. But the white bunny was never found. Once a year, on Easter, we are reminded of the tale of the hen which was turned into a white bunny. On this special day, children all over the world find magnificent painted eggs hidden in the forest, gardens, and yards by the white bunny that we now know as the Easter Bunny. And sometimes, when a child searches specially well, they will see an object shining brightly. Look! They will shout in excitement. I found a golden egg! Many, many years ago, the king mistakenly set me free. And now I work every year to make Easter special as you can see. On Easter morning, look high and look low for the special golden egg that glows. This most magnificent egg is beautiful and bright. It is my favorite egg to hide when I visit you at night. It won't be long until I hop your way. I hope you are very excited for Easter Day. The Easter Hen Bunny Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!